I, uh, hmm. <laughs> How do I start this? You know, normally I just talk and these videos sort of come together into something kind of coherent. This one, maybe not so much. Because just as this is starting out a strange, incoherent mess, I just had my own strange and incoherent conversation. My name is Izzy Bennett, and Darcy just weirded me out. So, anyway. Um, hey, was that Darcy? I saw pull out of the parking garage. Yeah, he was just here. Uh, and what did he say? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. Did he say why he was here on a Sunday? I assume business stuff? On a Sunday. He knew Ricky and I had a business brunch today. Really? He, he seemed surprised to find me here alone. Oh, Ms. Lou, a word. Oh, um, the final edits of the Illumination Regulator tutorial video are in your inbox. Oh, uh, delightful. Um, I've just been informed that Mr. Darcy made a surprise appearance at our offices. Uh, do you think he was trying to catch us off guard before he submits his operational report? But we were prepared for him, were we not, Mr. Collins? I believe so, Ms. Lou. I believe so. Why don't you take a look at those edits so that we can be more prepared when he returns? Always so calculating, Ms. Lou. Uh, you are the perfect uh, partner Collins. in the... Oh, yes, of course. Uh, Miss Bennett. Well played, Ms. Lou. Okay, but I really need to know what he said while he was here. Why? Since when are you so nosy about Darcy? No, it's just there's an operational report coming up in a week, and if he doesn't like what he sees... Oh, right. Sorry. No, um, he didn't talk about you or Collins and Collins. Oh, good. Then what did he talk about? Personal stuff? Really? Yeah. So, Darcy, you, Bing, and Caroline all left the neighborhood in such a hurry last month. You, you didn't give me a line there. That's because he didn't say anything. So, uh, how are Bing and Caroline? They are well. Do you think Bing might return to the neighborhood? Bing no longer consorts with rabble like you. He did not say that. Well, he said Bing was making new friends in Los Angeles. But don't listen to him, Jane. Darcy's not the boss of him. Your friend Charlotte seems to have settled in well here at Collins and Collins. Yes, she has. I thought it was a bad idea at first, but I was wrong. She's making it work, and I'm really proud of her. Oh, Lizzie. That was sweet. But really, was that it? Yeah, other than some long, awkward pauses. That's weird, right? Yeah, he knows that Ricky and I aren't going to be here and comes to chat with you. Well, I was like five minutes. He was probably just looking for an air-conditioned place to drink his probiotic hemp latte. But you said he was awkward. Maybe he was nervous. Yeah, he kind of was. <laughs> Maybe I'm starting to get to him. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Lizzie Bennett, making men uncomfortable since 1988. I bet that's on Lydia's list. <laughs>